AKKA Technologies Link and Fly Aircraft Design could soon let planes drop off its passengers at local stations. The concept envisions a modular craft that relies on a passenger pod and detachable wings to speed up the boarding process and make it easier than ever to get to and from the airport. The idea is that you head to your local train station to board the train-like tube which takes you straight to the airport. The pod then moves onto the runway where a cockpit and wings are attached to the passenger train before taking off. Upon landing, the train fuselage detaches from the wings and rolls out of the airport to local train stations to drop you at a convenient location. The Link and Fly aircraft comprises a 162-seat plane with an option for cargo delivery that can hold a maximum payload of 21,000 kilograms. Engines are mounted on a large delta-shaped wing with a span of about 49 meters. The craft is envisioned with a range of 2,200 kilometers, a cruise speed of Mach 0.78, and a maximum cruise altitude of 39,800 feet. Celera 500L, an extraordinary leap forward in aviation innovation. Developed by Auto Aviation, this experimental aircraft boasts a sleek, elongated fuselage and a pusher propeller configuration, challenging the norms of conventional design. But what truly sets the Solera 500L apart is its remarkable efficiency. With claims of achieving speeds up to 450 miles per hour while consuming significantly less fuel than traditional aircraft, it promises to revolutionize air travel. Not only does it offer impressive range, covering up to 4,500 nautical miles on a single tank, but it also boasts lower emissions, aligning with environmental sustainability goals. Inside, passengers are treated to spacious seating and luxury amenities, ensuring a comfortable journey. From executive travel to regional transportation and cargo operations, the Solera 500L opens new possibilities in aviation, marking a significant step towards a more sustainable and cost-effective future in the skies. World's largest plane carries fueled hypersonic test vehicle into the skies. California's Stratolaunch has announced the successful completion of its 12th test flight, where its six-engine, 385-foot wingspan rock carrier aircraft took to the air for a captive carry test of a Talone hypersonic vehicle hauling live propellant. Stratolaunch revealed plans for a huge aircraft to launch spacecraft into orbit back in 2011, but the world's largest plane didn't roll out from its hangar until 2017, and then onto its maiden flight a couple of years later. In 2020, the original plan was amended and a reusable hypersonic vehicle design was unveiled. The Talone would be released at altitude from the rock carrier aircraft to then fly at speeds over Mach 5 and subsequently land itself on a conventional runway. The TA-0 test version followed in 2022, which lacked rocket power but was designed to validate release systems. It was integrated into the rock center wing later that year for its first captive carry flight. A test at Vandenberg Space Force Base's Western Range earlier this year successfully nailed the release. FlyNow eCopter takes a smaller, simpler approach to air taxi travel. There are now a number of companies working on EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing, air taxis, most of which look a bit like larger versions of consumer quadcopter drones. The e-copter is different, however, in a way that could make it more likely to see real-world use. Currently being developed by Austrian startup FlyNow Aviation, the autopiloted e-copter features a coaxial electric drivetrain which incorporates two counter-rotating rotor propellers, one above the other. This setup allows it to be classified by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency as an electric helicopter. According to FlyNow, because the e-copter can be nicely slotted into this existing classification, certification should be much quicker and simpler than would be the case for more drone-like multirotor air taxis. Saudi Arabia is revolutionizing luxury travel with its first luxury train, the Dream of the Desert. This project is a collaboration between Saudi Arabia Railways and the Italian Arsenal Group. 
The train will traverse an 800-mile route from Riyadh to al Qurayyid near the Jordanian border, with curated excursions at key stops like al Qasim, Hail, and al Juf. The train will blend modern technology with Saudi Arabia's cultural heritage, featuring traditional motifs and craftsmanship in its 40 luxury cabins. Although the launch date is yet to be announced, it's expected to be in 2025, with reservations opening later this year. This marks a significant step in Saudi Arabia's efforts to redefine luxury tourism and embrace slow and experiential travel. Virgin Galactic unveils Miraclad VSS Imagine, its first Spaceship 3. Continuing to grow its fleet of suborbital vehicles, Virgin Galactic unveils its first Spaceship 3, dubbed VSS Imagine. The newly revealed space plane takes on a more classically futuristic style than its predecessor. The Spaceship 2 VSS Unity, the VSS Imagine is expressed entirely with a mirrored finish which dynamically reflects the surrounding environment and constantly changes color and appearance as it travels from Earth to sky to space. The chrome-like ship is designed for more efficient production and quicker reuse than Spaceship 2 which currently stands as the focal point in the company's endeavors toward space tourism. Virgin Galactic designs its Spaceship 3 space planes with a modular design that will lay the foundation for the design and manufacture of future vehicles. The space plane showcases the company's innovation in design and astronaut experience and demonstrates its progress toward efficient design and production as Virgin Galactic works to scale the business for the long term. Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus is an ambitious glimpse into the future of aviation interior design conceived by Airbus. This visionary concept transcends traditional notions of aircraft cabins, offering a holistic and immersive passenger experience. With a focus on sustainability, comfort, and connectivity, Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus reimagines every aspect of the flying experience. From spacious and modular seating arrangements to personalized in-flight entertainment and wellness features, it aims to cater to the diverse needs and preferences of travelers. Moreover, the integration of advanced technologies such as augmented reality windows and biometric sensors enhances safety, convenience, and overall satisfaction. With a commitment to reducing environmental impact and enhancing passenger well-being, Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus sets a new standard for the future of air travel, promising to transform the way we fly and experience the world. ASKA has unveiled a groundbreaking milestone in transportation innovation with the world's first drive and fly electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, vehicle. This revolutionary dual mode vehicle represents a convergence of automotive and aviation technologies, offering unparalleled flexibility and freedom in mobility. Combining the convenience of driving with the versatility of flying, ASKA's EVTOL promises to transform urban and regional transportation. With its vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, it can navigate congested city environments and reach destinations efficiently, bypassing traffic and infrastructure limitations. Additionally, its transition to road mode allows seamless integration into existing transportation networks, providing a truly door-to-door -door travel experience. As we move towards a future of urban air mobility, ASKA's drive and fly EVTOL paves the way for a new era of personal transportation, where the sky is no longer the limit. Solar Airship One, a project by a French company, is set to revolutionize air travel with a zero-emission aircraft. This 495 feet long rigid airship, powered by solar energy and hydrogen, is designed to embark on a non-stop circumnavigation of the Earth, covering over 40,000 kilometers in 20 days at an average altitude of 6,000 meters. The team, including Bertrand Picard, Doreen Bornton, and Michel Tognini, aims to create enthusiasm around the climate challenges of the 21st century and demonstrate the potential of renewable energies. 
With a planned takeoff in 2026, Solar Airship One is expected to fly without any noise, fossil fuel, or CO2 emissions, solely relying on the sun and hydrogen. This project stands as a testament to the potential of renewable energy and the future of sustainable air travel. Sierra Space, a Colorado-based company, recently made headlines with the successful test of its inflatable space habitat, the Large Integrated Flexible Environment. The test, known as the Ultimate Burst Pressure Test, was designed to push the habitat to its limits by inflating it until it bursts. The Large Integrated Flexible Environment Habitat, standing over 20 feet tall and about one-third the volume of the International Space Station, was inflated to 77 PSI before it burst exceeding NASA's recommended safety level of 60.8 PSI by 27%. This explosion was equivalent to the combined strength of 164 sticks of dynamite. This successful test not only demonstrates that the large integrated flexible environment habitat can meet NASA's safety standards, but also paves the way for Sierra Space's ambitious plans. The company aims to deploy these modules in low Earth orbit as part of Orbital Reef, a private space station it is developing with Blue Origin. Nysus Aero Wingless and compact gyroplane Nysus soars high using engine-powered propeller. Single rotor lifts up gyroplane Nysus. Gyroplane Nysus relies on its engine-powered, single propeller to lift itself up in the air as a personal aircraft for leisure and professional flying. To effortlessly fly an aircraft with a helicopter design spills through the aesthetics that Nysus goes for and the specifications it tailors to a flying private means of transport. The gyroplane features a lengthy rotor that acts as the wing of the aircraft. It is engine-powered, enough to thrust it upward and forward with ease. Nysus opts for welded steel tubes to support its VTOL gyroplane, which at a low weight ensures high rigidity and safety of the structure, the company states. For the tail part and the cabin of the aircraft, the design team employs composite materials of carbon fibers to lighten the load. The all-weather aircraft means it can withstand extreme day and night conditions in flight, and because of its compact design, Nysus is dubbed small enough to be stowed and parked in confined and or restricted spaces. Starling Jet The Starling Jet, developed by UK-based Samad Aerospace, is a game-changer in the aviation industry. This hybrid electric business aircraft, capable of vertical takeoff and landing, is designed to revolutionize air travel. Unveiled at the Singapore Air Show in 2018, the jet boasts a sleek, high-wing design and can reach speeds of 450 miles per hour. With a seating capacity for four passengers plus a pilot, it's ideally suited for politicians and big corporations. The vision behind the Starling Jet is to make international air travel hassle-free, eliminating costly airport transfers, busy security lines, and long waits to board or depart. While it's still being perfected, the engineers at Samad Aerospace hope to see it soaring through the sky soon. No one to fold M. Bell tests its stole folding rotors. Rotary wing maker Bell is at work testing a folding prop rotor concept for its DARPA-influenced high-speed vertical takeoff and landing concept in New Mexico. Yesterday, a Bell release touted the delivery of a high-speed vertical takeoff and landing STOL, test article to Holloman Air Force Base for demonstration and technology evaluation. But Bell has done more than just deliver. The rig you see above is already there, already undergoing testing. Folding rotor blades are integral to the Stoll concept Bell is exploring with partner Sierra Nevada Corporation for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Sprint, Speed and Runway Independent Technologies program. Sprint, which DARPA has undertaken in cooperation with U.S. Special Operations Command, aims to build aircraft that combine runway independence, i.e. VTOL capability, with levels of speed altitude, and range that surpass existing helicopter and tilt rotor designs.
Natilis has embarked on a groundbreaking journey with the launch of its autonomous cargo drone, marking a pivotal moment in the future of logistics. This innovative aircraft represents a leap forward in unmanned aerial technology, promising to revolutionize the transport of goods across the globe. With its large payload capacity and long-range capabilities, the Natilis drone is poised to streamline cargo operations, offering faster delivery times and reducing reliance on traditional shipping methods. Equipped with state-of-the-art navigation systems and advanced safety features, it ensures reliable and efficient autonomous flight. As the world increasingly turns to automation for logistics solutions, Natilis sets a new standard for the industry, ushering in a future where unmanned cargo drones play a vital role in shaping the way goods are transported worldwide. Australia is set to revolutionize the electric air taxi industry with the development of its first network of vertiports. This ambitious project is a collaboration between property developer Polygra and EVTOL infrastructure expert Skyports. The network will initially utilize existing airports and helipads before expanding to urban locations such as shopping centers, business parks, and industrial sites. Skyports has also partnered with Secure Parking to gain access to hundreds of car parking garages. The first vertiport, designed by Contreras Earl Architects, will be located at Caribbean Park in Melbourne's east. The Vertaya EVTOL is expected to be delivered in 2026, marking a significant milestone in Australia's journey towards sustainable urban mobility.